This is Matthew Cratter from Trade University. And this morning I want to answer the question, can Bitcoin work without the internet or work without electricity? This is a critique we often hear from gold bugs to Bitcoiners saying, what are you guys going to do when the internet goes down for an extended period of time? Or there's no electricity or something like this. This could be the global internet going down or it could just be a uh, a local area going down. Maybe all of Asia goes down or all of North America. It could also be something like a beaver attack, which could probably only happen in Canada. Here's an example of a beaver chewing through an internet cable and shutting off service uh, for uh, 900 internet customers for a period of time. So there is a solution for this that a lot of people, especially non-Bitcoiners, don't know about, and that is the Blockstream satellite network. These are geosynchronous satellites that encircle the globe and make sure that the Bitcoin blockchain is available from space without any internet connection. This means that anyone in the world can access the latest version of the Bitcoin blockchain and can make sure that their full node stays synced with the Bitcoin network. The way it works is this. You have these ground stations, which Blockstream calls teleports. They all run full Bitcoin nodes and then they transmit that information to geosynchronous satellites. And then those satellites then relay the latest version of the blockchain worldwide and make sure that everything stays, uh, stays synced. All you really need to, to participate in this is you need a small base station called a Blockstream Satellite Base Station. And with one of these, this has the antenna built in and you can actually co connect multiple Bitcoin nodes to this. And this will allow you to actually run a full node, full node, connect it to one of the Blockstream satellites, and you, you'll be able to run it uh, either full time over the satellite or use this as a backup in case your local internet connection goes down. One of the great advantages of this as well, besides allowing everyone all over the globe to have access to the Bitcoin blockchain and to run a full node from anywhere, this also allows users to run a full node and never need to send any information over the internet. And so in this way, your ISP will not know that you're running a Bitcoin full node. And if a government or some hostile power is trying to track down all the full nodes and shut them down, it will not be able to pinpoint uh, your location using your IP address or using information taken from your internet service provider. We can see here a map of the satellite network coverage and the different parts that are covered by uh, different, uh, different satellites. We can go up here and we can just type in any address. So I'll type up Denver, uh, Colorado, and that will tell you the location of the teleport stations. There's one, I guess, on High Street. And these are all over, all over the world uh, at this point as well. So this is great for those who live in remote locations, maybe live in a very rural area or in a mountainous area, you don't have internet, maybe your Bitcoin Citadel is in a remote location, you still want to run a full node or run a Bitcoin miner, you'd be able to connect to the Blockstream satellite. It's also good for developing countries that have bad internet. It's good for parts of developed countries that have bad internet. Much of the US has actually very poor internet, including uh, Silicon Valley of all places. The internet there is not nearly as good as you would expect it to be. South Korea, for example, is much better internet than even uh, the Bay Area and Silicon Valley. I guess the next question would be, what happens if there's no electricity? In this case, Bitcoiners are used to thinking in a really decentralized manner. And as such, as Bitcoiners, as Bitcoin miners or Bitcoin uh, people who run a Bitcoin full node, we need to make sure that we always have decentralized power available for our full nodes or for our Bitcoin mining machines. Uh, this could include solar, hydro, wind, and then the inevitable battery backups for when the wind's not blowing or the sun's not shining or the river is not flowing. I'm especially interested in these uh, in hydropower these look a little bit large. These are a little bit more industrial, but they might work for larger, uh, larger projects. And then there are a bunch of companies springing up, like Water Lily, that have these uh, these portable uh, these portable hydro uh, turbines. Portable turbines. You can just stick them in a stream when you're camping, for example. You could uh, use them to recharge your 
your um, your your uh, iPhone or your uh, your car, whatever you need when you're in a remote location. You could also plug them in to a full node and run a, run one of these permanently from your rural Bitcoin Citadel. So this is very exciting. This is another way of making Bitcoin more and more decentralized. Obviously, you could try to make the argument that this is a centralized corporate corporation that's doing this. That being said, everything everything is open source. Everything's transparent. You can, uh, if you're technologically sophi uh, sophisticated enough, you can check and make sure that there's no spyware or anything running on these. Blockstream, I believe, is a really, really good company, as is Adam Back. So I trust them, but it's also possible to verify these things as well. And this is uh, really something that uh, is, is unique to Bitcoin. If you own one of the altcoins, let's say you own XRP, you may have your own version of the Blockstream satellite, and it's still really in a nascent version. We have um, people like this who are actively working on creating a decentralized uh, way of accessing the XRP blockchain. So this is very exciting, and I'm, I'm proud of people with tin, tinfoil hats everywhere who own XRP and are trying to provide an alternative to things like satellites that Bitcoin now runs on. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that subscribe and like button. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I publish my next video. And let me know your questions and comments in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.